Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Sunday morning, 7.30 a.m. Headed down to Antonelli baseball practice. So we got a busy day today. Give you a little recap on this weekend. It's been pretty hectic. High school, we had uh, a double header against two different high school teams. There were scrimmages, so we don't start our season for another uh, little more than a week. But we played two high school teams, Phillips Andover, and we played Lowell High School. And uh, they both went okay. We ended up beating Lowell. We lost to Phillips. Uh, we didn't play great the first game, but ended up playing well. The second game, Bath County came alive. But both both good games, good scrimmages for us to kind of prepare for the season. Um, and so I was at the field yesterday, high school-wise, for a while. Between our uh, pregame stuff and the two games, we went probably almost nine hours or so at the field, which was a nice long day. Our travel ball stuff all got rained out. Now, high school's on turf, so we can play high school. Uh, it's always nice to be on the turf. Travel ball stuff, though. We had all of our games scheduled on grass fields, and, and uh, those all were not playable yet. So today's schedule is kind of jam-packed. I've been up now for about an hour. I got up around 6.30 or so. A couple of our games have already been canceled for Antonelli Baseball, and then um, our 11-year-old game is still supposed to be played. So we are... Uh, kind of going back and forth with their coach to figure out what's going to happen. It is supposed to rain today. There is a 100% chance of rain later in the day. Our game is scheduled for 2 o'clock, and so the game's an hour away. So we're just trying to figure out and make sure that we're not going to drive an hour and that it's going to be pouring down there. So that's what we were doing this morning. And uh, what else do we got? I'm headed on my way now to practice, so because a few of our games got canceled, we're going to do a, an 8 a.m. practice with uh, our 12-year-olds, and then at 9 a.m., we've got our 13-year-olds coming in and our 14-year-olds coming in, so we're going to try to get everyone in this morning, get a little workout. Uh, again, we're not able to get on the fields yet, but we're going to be inside. We've got the turf field inside, and we've got the batting cages and stuff like that, so we'll get a good workout in there. And then uh, later today, I'm headed for a little bit to uh, a little play, I guess you'd call it. Paw Patrol play. I don't know if you guys have heard of Paw Patrol. If you've heard of Paw Patrol, put it in the comment section below. But my son and daughter are big fans of Paw Patrol, so we're going to head to Boston for a little play for them. And then I've got high school practice later on tonight. So that'll depend on the rain. Again, a lot of rain coming in. We may move that inside or we may just get pushed back to tomorrow. Not sure yet. But that is the day. All right, here we go. Jog it down. Good. Second base spin. It's set up like you're going to throw and then just don't throw. You gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta be. Yeah, I know, I just blocked the wall. Out of the way, uphill. Yeah. Out of the way. Yeah, keep your hands out front. Keep it out front. I want to run through, back. Out of the way. Thank you, Fever, dude. Thank you, Fever. Good. First baseman, when there's nobody on base, you've got to get as much depth as you can. There's no point in playing right next to the bag because every ground ball in this hole is going to get by you. Move back as far as you feel like you can go while still That's being able to get the first. You can go further. Go further. Right there. Thank you. Get it, Matthew. Nice. That's it. All right, good 
Jack. Probably like what, one more minute? Or are we done? Uh, one, two, five, yeah. Eight, two, five, eight, couple more minutes. Jack. Well, I was the one that asked Yeah, get to the back quick, read the throw. Make sure your feet are under you and then you see the ball, then take your foot to the ball. Don't already kind of be preset out there. Have your feet underneath you, read the ball. Ow! I'm not even close to the base! My lord! Who just hit me? Hey. How did Harry hit me? He almost just took out his penis, too. Oh, Lord. Come on, Harry. Ah. Uh, catch it first. Yeah, make sure we catch it first. Make sure it won. That away. Yeah, get to the bag early. I'm playing first base. And I'm holding the guy on. I put my right foot in front of his base, right here. I open my left toe just a little bit so I can catch the ball and apply the tag. Everyone got me? I'm not like this. I'm not in foul territory. I'm right here, right off the corner. I'm opened up a little bit. So if the throw is here, I can open up. But I want to be able to catch it and then I can put the tag on right here. If the pitcher delivers to the play with a man on first, all I do is cross over and do one shuffle, and then I'm ready to field the ball. That's it. It's got to happen every time. And then if the hitter doesn't hit make contact, all I do is I shuffle back, and I'm ready to catch the ball in case the catcher throws down here. Everybody got it? All right, so if I'm a righty, I shuffle back, I catch it, and I tag him. If I'm a lefty, I just shuffle back, and I open up, catch it, tag him like that. Everyone got it? Uh, we're going to talk for a second. If there's men on first and second, we never hold the runner. Everyone got it? You're always behind the runner. He can't steal. He can't go anywhere. So we don't hold him. Got it? And make sure your normal depth. I don't want to see guys playing right here when there's nobody on. I'm back and I'm over. I want to take away any singles here. Yeah, I'm far enough. I'm close enough that I can run the bag, find the bag, and then stretch out again. Okay? Comments, you make fun of me? I'm sure it'd be funny if I did. Hey, what's going on, guys? Matt Antonelli here. Yeah, your intro is awesome. Every time. Double cuts, okay? So any ball that's hit, that is a sure double. If there's nobody on base, we're setting up to third every time. Got it? If there's a man on first, we're setting up to four every time, okay? So if there's nobody on base and the ball's hit down the left field line, third baseman, you got third. We're gonna have both the shortstop and the second baseman going out there, okay? You should be around, I'd say, I would say about 30 feet or so behind the lead guy, the trail guy, okay? So this is about 30 feet or so right here, got it? So I need to make sure if the ball is over his head, it's got to hit me in the air. Got it? If the ball is going to bounce and it's going to be a tough in-between hop for him, the lead guy, he's going to let it go and it, I should be close enough where the ball bounces right to me. Everyone got that? All right, so those are the two rules. If you've got to jump, if you're the lead guy and you've got to jump way up to get the ball, let it go. It should go right to the second guy. The trail guy, when you're running out there, you should be the eyes for the lead guy. So you should be running out, looking back. If it's the third base, third baseman should be setting you up, but you should be helping him, the trail guy, all right? And just lining him up, just relaying the call. Left, 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 right, 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 out, 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 whatever you need. Anything to the left of center will always have that. The shortstop will be the lead guy, and the second baseman will be the trail guy. And then anything to the right side of center will have the second baseman be the lead guy, and the shortstop is the trail guy. We got that? So man on first, we're always setting up where? Four. 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 If the ball's right down the left field line, 
Third baseman, you're still gonna be here. Those two guys, shortstop's leading, second baseman's trailing, but we're always gonna be inside the line. So if the ball hooks down the line and it goes into foul territory, we don't wanna be on the outside of the line so that when we get the ball, we've gotta throw over the runner. So that's the only play where the ball might come in on an angle this way so that when we catch it, we've got this open lane to throw the guy out, okay? That's the only exception to the rule. Do you wanna up as close to the line as we can? Um, yeah, stay close, just don't go over the line. I would say five feet inside the line. First baseman, you're always, except for the ball on the right field line we'll talk about in a minute, you're always trailing the runner. The ball's hit, you're gonna come inside, right in here on the green part, you're gonna watch the guy touch first base and make, he, make sure he touches first, and then as he goes to second, you're just gonna trail him on the inside. So that if we get a ball thrown in and he takes a wide turn, we can redirect, he might not even know you're coming behind him. All right, Look, the one exception, with a man on first, and the ball down the right field line. The first baseman lead, first and then second second baseman baseman. the second baseman will come and trail. The shortstop, that's the one play where you don't really have a responsibility. So you're kind of just hanging out in here. We said last year, that was kind of like the play when Derek Jeter saw the ball going over and he started running this way and he flipped it. So, that's you will. You could, you could be potentially, you could be potentially setting up for a ball that's cut and maybe throwing the third, and maybe you've got to cut the ball off. You're just free to kind of roam. All right, here we go. Nobody on base. Ball down the left field line. We good? Give it a second. Here we go. Give it a second. Go. Here we go. Get out there. Set him up. Be his eyes. Get out, get out of the way. Hey, that's the one. It's got to get caught in the air. If it's over his head, you just got to make sure you come up and catch it. Don't let it bounce. Get out there. It's a deep part of the park. Get out there. Pretty good. Good. Nobody on base. Go get it. Set him up. But work on getting inside, pretending the runner goes, and then just trail him the inside. Here we go. Nobody on base. Nobody on. Hold on. Yep. Go. Go. There you go. Get out there. Catch in the air. There you go. Never let the ball hit the ground unless it's going to be the lead guy. If it's going to be an in-between hop, you don't have to play it. Make sure you move your feet. Here we go. Runner on first. You ready? Go ahead. It's hooked in the foul territory. Go get it. There you go. And you've got a good lane right there to throw it. First baseman, you're leading. Second baseman, you're trailing. Shortstop, you're in there. Let's do that again. Here we go, ready. Hold on. Got it. There you go. First baseman's leading, second baseman trail. Set him up. Move your feet. On that ball with a man on first, if it's to the right or his left, our right of the right fielder, you guys are going to be the, the lead guy. Okay. If it's in the gap, then we treat it like a yeah, we'll treat it normal. But if it's to if it's to his his left, our right of him, you guys go out there. Just use that as a cue. Yeah. So we're not going to, to his left. That's us in the gap. Treat it like a normal. Because that can be a long run. If, we're, if we want the shortstop to get all the way over, that's too far. Like, you guys are already right here. You go out, let the second baseman be the trail guy. Okay? All right. We good? Hey, ball in flight stops the base runners. Basically all the time, right? You see the ball in flight, that's our base coach is going to be, okay, ball's in flight. Right? So we just got to get there to the spot, bare hand, get that sucker in. All right? Understand where you are. Have that awareness on the field to understand where you are, especially if we're going forward. Three. Well, let's get this side. Ball and flight, so long as we're directing towards where we need to go, right? You should know that in your head already. So just remember that. Ball and 
flight will always haunt base camp. So just get that sucker in as quickly as possible. All right, make that guy over there, if you're a base coach, make a decision. Maybe it saves us or not. And I got one more really quick thing. Uh, with a man on first, there's going to be a possibility of throwing the ball four or throwing the ball three, right? So make sure if you're the trail guy, if we've got a ball hit way down there or hit somewhere and this guy's screaming from all the way over here, he may not hear. So just make sure you're not only the eyes, but echo the call. If you hear all of a sudden three, 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 because this guy's a burner, he's home and we've got to play at third base, make sure that you echo the call so that the uh, lead guy can hear you, okay? And even though we're set up four, we hear three, three, get the ball, fire at the third.